Hello everyone, I'm now here with Randall King, driver of that number 30 Pepsi Super Late model, and uh, having a great race in the first race, and you almost won it, but one guy got around you. Yeah, you know, we had, we had a really good car there in the first race, and um, unfortunately we got into some stuff with um, Ryan Reed. We had some previous race experience go on earlier in the season, and... Uh, Rivalry. Yeah, right, we'll make that clear, Ryan Reed. Um, you know, I said we, rivalry, but Ryan Reed and... Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. It goes together, right? Same sentence. Um, you know, we had our ups and downs earlier in the season, and, and um, it came down to this race where he ended up getting into us again. I think he definitely had a faster car, and he probably could have did a little bit cleaner than he did. But, um, you know, stuff happened, and we went into the second race with an open mind. We started off pole, um, had a really good car. I was sitting there with Justin for a little bit, and um, Ryan ended up getting in the way. And... Um, you know, he got sent to the infield. Uh, me and Justin kept racing and went green. Um, I think if the track would have had a problem with it, they would have thrown the yellow and sent me to the back or something. But it was a race and deal, and it happened. Um, we kept going, and unfortunately, uh, one of our wheels ended up loosening up, and the left rear came loose. So we had to pull in. We didn't want to destroy the car here in the last weekend. But um, got to thank everyone from Position One Motorsports, um, King Taco Restaurants, Molecule Protection, um, Jan's Towing, Ibox Springs, and of course Oakley, you know, for keeping me safe in the suit. But, um, you know, all these guys really put their heart into it this year, and I think we had a really good run. Um, Visionaire, it's hard to catch them, you know, messing up. You know, they're always right there on top, and they had a really good car this year. So bo both our cars went really well. Going down the back stretch with Ryan Reed on your outside, did you even lift? I didn't lift. You know, I, I honestly, you know, it, it came to the point this year where it, he doesn't race with respect. You know, and out here, we haven't had confrontation with any other driver out here in the pits. You know, I usually get along with everybody, no matter what division I'm in. You know, you guys have followed me since the speed truck days, and I don't get into too many confrontations. But, you know, with Ryan, it, it, it had to be set in stone. You know, look, you know, you really need to race with respect out here, and he doesn't. So I think he finally got a taste of what he's been dishing out all year, and, you know, that's the way it happens sometimes. So, nope, I didn't lift, and it happened, you know. So he got sent to the infield, and we continued for as much as the race as we could. But, you know, we had an awesome car. Probably should have won both races this weekend, but that's the way it happens sometimes. All right, and uh, one last question for you. Where are we going to see you next? Um, you know, hopefully I can be back here next year with Position 1 Motorsports. You know, I'd love to drive for them again in the Super Late Model Division. Um, I know they're going to make their appearance here in the Late Model Division since they just picked up one of those cars. So look for the King Taco car next year in the Late Model Division. We'll definitely have the Super Lates out here. And, um, you know, honestly, I, I haven't made my commitments yet. Um, still, I guess at this point, considered a free agent. i got to talk to Luis Martinez from King Taco Restaurants. And um, hopefully we can get something squared away for next year. All right, everyone, that's Randall King, Ryan Reed's best friend.